Hello! Today's screencast is Phase Diagrams 4, which is all about phase diagram calculations. In this screencast, we will answer the following muddiest points. In a two-phase region, how can composition be determined by looking to either side of the two-phase region? Where do you get the numbers from on the phase diagram to do the calculation? I'm still a little unclear on how to calculate the fraction of each phase, and I don't know what 1020, 1060, or 10100 steel means. So if you haven't watched the previous video, which is the iron iron carbide phase diagram introduction, you may want to watch that before viewing this one. The link is up here. And if there is a particular topic in this video that you wish to see, there are some more annotations down there. So let's get started. Before we begin our calculations, it's important that we review the eutectoid reaction of the iron-iron carbide phase diagram, which is in the compositional vicinity from which we get steel. Our first set of examples will be for 1076 steel, which has the eutectoid composition of 0.76 weight percent carbon. We will start in the high temperature single phase gamma region and cool into the two phase alpha plus iron carbide region. Our second set of examples will be for hypoeutectoid 1030 steel, which has composition of 0 0.30 weight percent carbon. We will start in the single phase gamma region, cool down into the two phase alpha plus gamma region, and then cool down again into the alpha plus iron carbide region. The final set of examples will be for hypereutectoid 10100 steel, which has composition of 1.00 weight percent carbon. We will begin in the two-phase gamma plus iron carbide region and then cool into the two-phase alpha plus iron carbide region. If you need more review, please follow the annotation here to the previous video. Now that we've reviewed, let's try our first example problem. We are given for 1076 steel at 728 degrees Celsius, find the phases present, the chemical composition of each phase, and the phase weight fraction of each phase. We've already discussed that 1076 steel has the eutectoid composition, which is 0.76 weight percent carbon. Using our given conditions, we can see that we are at this x right here in the single phase gamma region. So our phase present is gamma. Because it is a single phase region, the chemical composition of gamma is the same as the overall composition, and the phase weight fraction is 1. I have compiled our data into a table here to better organize it. Now let's try a two-phase region example. For the same eutectoid 1076 steel at 720 degrees Celsius, which is one degree below the eutectoid temperature, identify the same three things as last time. First we determine where we are using the given conditions, so 0 0.76 weight percent carbon and 726 degrees Celsius puts us at this X right there, which is in the alpha plus iron carbide region. So our phases present are alpha and iron carbide, and our overall composition, as stated previously, is 0.76 weight percent carbon. Now let's find the chemical composition of each phase. To find the chemical composition of alpha, we go horizontally to the left, straight over to this line right here, which represents the solubility limit of carbon in alpha. And then we go straight down from this intersection point and read off the composition, which is the composition of alpha in weight percent carbon. So our chemical composition of alpha is 0 0.022 weight percent carbon. To find the chemical composition of iron carbide, we go from our X, skipping over to the right this time, to this line right here, which represents the composition of iron carbide. And then we go from this intersection point down to the X axis and read off the composition. So our composition of iron carbide is 6.67 weight percent carbon, which it always is because remember it is a compound, not a solid state solution. Now that we have the chemical composition of each phase, we can find the phase weight fraction of each phase. The phase weight fraction of alpha can be found using this formula that I've written here, which is U over T plus U. The length U 
is this length in green that I'm highlighting now, and the length t plus u is this entire length right there. To find these lengths mathematically, we can use this formula right there, which is the composition of iron carbide minus the overall composition divided by the composition of iron carbide minus the composition of alpha. Plugging in the values from number two into this formula right here, we can see that the phase weight fraction of alpha is 0.89. Finally, to find the phase weight fraction of iron carbide, I'm going to use this formula right here, which states that I can find the phase weight fraction of iron carbide by taking the length T, which is right here, over the entire length T plus U. Mathematically speaking, this formula can be represented this way also. We take the overall composition minus the composition of alpha divided by the composition of iron carbide minus the composition of alpha. We've already found all these numbers, so plugging in our values from number two above gives us a phase weight fraction of iron carbide as 0.11. Finally, once you have all your solutions to the three asked problems, it's easy to if you put them in a table like so. This column represents all the values for alpha and this column represents all of the values for iron carbide. Now let us move on to an example of a hypoeutectoid steel. So for 1030 steel at 1000 degrees Celsius, calculate the phases present, the chemical composition of each phase, and the phase weight fraction of each phase. Notice that I've already filled in all of our tables and all of our answers because this is just like the previous single phase gamma region problem we did before. 1030 steel means you have 0.3 weight percent carbon and at 1000 degrees Celsius you are at this X right here circled in blue so that means your phase present is just single phase gamma. The chemical composition of gamma is the same as the overall composition, which is 0.3 weight percent carbon, and your phase weight fraction is 1, because you're in a single phase region, just as before. For our next example, we will still be dealing with 1030 steel, but we have cooled down from 1000 degrees to 850 degrees. These conditions put us at this x right here, 850.3 weight percent carbon. That means our phases present now are alpha, and gamma because we're in this region of the graph here. Now let's find the chemical composition of each phase. To find the chemical composition of alpha, we go from our x to the left to this line here, which is again the solubility limit of carbon and alpha, and then we go from this point and go straight down to our x-axis and read off the weight percent carbon there, and that is our composition of alpha and weight percent carbon right here, I've written it, it's 0.018% carbon. To find the chemical composition of gamma, we go from our x horizontally to the right to this point on the line, which represents the boundary line between single phase gamma and two phase alpha plus gamma. From here, we read straight down to our x axis, and that value that you see is the composition of gamma. It is 0.45 weight percent carbon. Now we can find the phase weight fraction of each phase. To find the phase weight fraction of alpha, I'm going to use this formula here, which says that the phase weight fraction of alpha is equal to Q divided by P plus Q. Now Q is this length up here, and P plus Q is this entire length right there. Mathematically speaking, Q is the composition of gamma minus the overall composition, and P plus Q is the composition of gamma minus the composition of alpha. Plugging in all these values that you got from number two above, the phase weight fraction of alpha is 0.45 minus 0.3 divided by 0.45 minus 0.01. That gives you 0.34 for the phase weight fraction of alpha. Finally, to find the phase weight fraction of gamma, I could use this formula here, which states that the phase weight fraction of gamma is found by taking the length P over the length P plus Q which mathematically is this expression here. However, there's a faster way to do this. If you already have the phase weight fraction of alpha, you can find the phase weight fraction of gamma by taking one minus the phase weight fraction of alpha. This gives you 0.66 as the phase weight fraction of gamma, and if you were to have used this formula there, you would have gotten the same thing.
Finally, we put all of our results in a table with this column representing alpha and this column representing gamma to make it easier for your teacher to grade and just to organize your data. Our next example has the same type of steel, so 1030 steel, at 728 degrees Celsius, so that means we've cooled down from 850 to 728 degrees Celsius, putting us at this X here and still in the alpha plus gamma region. That being said, I'm not really going to go into detail about this calculation because we've already done one. In this region, the overall composition is 0.3% carbon. To find the composition of alpha, we go from our X over to the solubility limit of carbon in alpha, read it down off the x-axis, that is our composition of alpha, 0.022 weight percent carbon. To find the chemical composition of gamma, we go from our x to the right, where it hits the boundary line, go straight down, read off the value, it's 0.76 weight percent carbon. For the chemical composition of gamma, using this formula here, we find the base weight fraction of alpha is R over S plus R, which is the same thing mathematically as this formula here. Plugging in our values from number two above gives us a phase weight fraction of alpha at 0.62. Phase weight fraction of gamma is therefore 0.38 because 1 minus 0.62 is 0.38. To conclude, here is the results of this example in a table neatly. For our last hypoeutectoid example, we have 1030 steel, same steel as we have been dealing with for the past three examples, at 726 degrees Celsius, which is one degree below the eutectoid temperature. So we've gone from 728 degrees Celsius in the last problem to 726 degrees Celsius. Find the same three things as we have been doing this entire video. These conditions up here put us at this X right there and in the alpha plus iron carbide region. So those two are our phases present. We know our overall composition is 0.3 weight percent carbon. To find the composition of alpha, we go from our X horizontally over to the left to the solubility limit of carbon and alpha. Go straight down and read off the composition and weight percent carbon. It's right here, 0 0.022 weight percent carbon. To find the composition of iron carbide, we go from our X straight over to the right where we find the vertical line representing the composition of iron carbide. Go down to the X axis, read off the value. So our composition of iron carbide is 6.67 weight percent carbon. The phase weight fraction of alpha can be found using this formula here u over t plus u, where u is this length there, and t plus u is this entire length here. These lengths can be found using this formula right here. Plugging in our values from number two into this formula gives us this expression. When we solve it, we get our phase weight fraction of alpha is 0.96. 1 minus 0.96 gives us our phase weight fraction of iron carbide, which is 0 0.04. To conclude, put everything in a table for your convenience, like so. Our final two examples will be for a hyper eutectoid steel. For 1000 steel, at 728 degrees Celsius, identify the same three things as we have been doing this entire video. So 10100 steel means that our overall composition is 1.00 weight percent carbon. 728 degrees Celsius is one degree above the eutectoid temperature. Using these given conditions, one weight percent carbon, 728 degrees Celsius, puts us at this X right there and in the gamma plus iron carbide region. To find the chemical composition of gamma, we go from our X straight horizontally over to the left this time to this orange line here, which represents the boundary line between the single phase gamma region and the two phase iron carbide plus gamma region. Once we found that point, we go straight down and read the value off the X axis. And that is our composition of gamma. It is 0.76 weight percent carbon. To find the chemical composition of iron carbide, we go from our X horizontally straight over to the right to the vertical line representing the composition of iron carbide and then we read straight down find the value off the X axis and that is our composition of iron carbide it is 6.67 weight percent carbon the phase weight fraction of gamma can be found using this formula here which is V over W plus V V is this length here and W plus V is this whole length here. V mathematically can be found by taking the composition of iron carbide and subtracting the overall composition from it. The length W plus V can be found by taking the composition of iron carbide and subtracting the composition of gamma from it. 
plugging in our numbers from number 2 above, we can see that the phase weight fraction of gamma is 0.96. The phase weight fraction of iron carbide is 1 minus the phase weight fraction of gamma. That means the phase weight fraction of iron carbide is 0 0.04. To conclude, I have this column here representing gamma and this column right here representing iron carbide to keep the answers all neat. For our final example, we will take the same hyperutectroid 10100 steel, but this time at 726 degrees Celsius, and determine the same three things that we have been asked this entire time. 726 degrees Celsius is one degree below the eutectoid temperature with an overall composition of one weight percent carbon, and at this temperature, we're at this X here, putting us in the alpha plus iron carbide region, so that means those two are our phases present. We know our overall composition as one weight percent carbon, so to find the composition of alpha, we go from our X horizontally straight over to the left to the solubility limit of carbon and alpha, go straight down, read the value off the x-axis, which gives you the composition of alpha. In this case, it is 0 0.022 weight percent carbon. To find the chemical composition of iron carbide, we go from our x horizontally over to the right, to the vertical line representing the composition of iron carbide. We read straight down to the x-axis. That number is our chemical composition of iron carbide. It is 6.67 weight percent carbon. The phase weight fraction of alpha is found by taking the length y and dividing it by the length z plus y. There's y, there's z plus y. Mathematically, here's how you find those lengths. I've already plugged in the numbers from number two into this formula here, which is shown right here, giving us a phase weight fraction of alpha as 0.8. 85. The phase weight fraction of iron carbide is 1 minus 0.85, which gives us 0.15. And to conclude, I have all the information written in a table for your convenience. This screencast has successfully addressed the muddiest points posed at the beginning. We have learned how composition can be determined by looking to either side of the two-phase region. We learned where we get the numbers from to do the phase calculations. We learned all about finding the fraction of each phase, and we reviewed what the 1020, 1060, or 10100 steel means. So if you have any more questions, please leave them in the comment section. Sorry for the delay on this video, I was sick for a while with the flu, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.